Morena koutou katoa, uh, tēnei au mai whainga roa nei, uh, e mihi atu ana i tēnei rā. So Waitangi number two, and today uh, I'm going to be talking about the principles of the Treaty of Waitangi. You'll notice in my first session I talked about te tiriti o Waitangi, uh, whereas today I'm talking about the Treaty of Waitangi. And for those that know te tiriti o Waitangi, um, there's a key difference and it's around the text. The English and the Māori versions of the text and we signed the Māori version uh, which is quite different to uh, the English version I've already covered that <coughs> this notion of um, that uh, the fourth Labour government they started off this discussion and uh, the principles of the Treaty of Waitangi are uh, a political move because in 1877 the treaty was acknowledged as a simple nullity where the government decided that it didn't exist uh, and then jumped forward to the 1940s there was a case uh, and then again in the 1980s where there were legal cases to challenge the validity of the New Zealand government uh, and so at a political level, there were moves to recognise the Treaty of Waitangi and to elevate <coughs> or speed up, to speed up um, political redress. And so the principles were established and principles included uh, Kawanatanga, which was um, the principle of government, uh, which is acknowledged in um, the first... Uh, what do you call it? In the first article. Uh, then the, the principle of rangatiratanga, self-management, and then there were three others, uh, equality, cooperation, and redress. All as they tried to deal with this notion of partnership. Even though the treaty never talks about partnership, um, there was a massaging of words to help alleviate the political pressure that was happening as Māori started taking <coughs> uh, the crown to, to court and started to win. And the last principle redress is what's key. And so uh, this is the origin of the treaty settlements. And uh, what's key here is that they are political settlements and not just settlements. Um, because political settlements um, are about doing a deal uh, justice is about making sure that things are right because the biggest component associated with treaty settlement is the 80% of goodwill that Māori give to this nation because we settle for about 2, sometimes 3% of what we lost uh, and most non-Māori or most, most New Zealanders actually think that treaty settlement um, is something from the 1800s but many of the grievances are right up until um, the 70s and 80s as well but this notion of um, redress is what then gives speed to treaty settlements um, so this is just a bit of a quick overview of these this idea of principles and they went with principles to avoid the text of Te Tiriti o Waitangi because we were winning in the courts so Kati um, that's a little bit on, on treaty number two uh, Te Nakoto. Have a great day, Kia ora tato.